Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we are taking a look at this brand new 2024 Zinger 320 FB travel trailer here. This is a two bedroom, two slide out travel trailer. Nice little family coach. We're going to take a few minutes here, walk you through the inside and outside of this RV, kind of show you what this thing's all about. We'll even close it up at the end and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2024 Zinger 320 FB travel trailer here. And as you've seen on the floor plan that was up a few seconds ago, this is a two slide out, two bedroom setup here. We're gonna actually get started back here in the back of the RV and then we'll kind of work our way forward for you. So going through, this door here takes you into your master bedroom. This bed is on a slide out. So you have a window back there that does open. You have some overhead cabinet space, some shelf space, electric outlets and USB charger ports on each side of that window there. Now those electric outlets right there have the little yellow tags on them. Those are inverter prepped. So you can opt in for an inverter system on here that would turn 12 volt into electricity in case you needed to plug in like a CPAP machine or something while boondock camping. Big window on the rear of the RV. Then you have six dresser drawers down below and some closet space up above as well. A window over there does open. You have an entry exit door going in and out of this bedroom as well. There's also TV hookups up there. So if you wanted to do your TV up there, you could. Overall, a pretty nice size adult bedroom back here. Now the bed does raise up, so there is storage underneath of there as well. This uh, unit was ordered with two ACs, so there is a drop-in AC right here to cool down this bedroom area. Up there where the little blue sticker is right there, that is prepping for the gateway connect feature that you can buy aftermarket and hook up right there. The unit has the WineGuard Air 360 Plus TV antenna system on it, which can also bring in Wi-Fi if you get that gateway connect and you subscribe to like Verizon or AT&T's internet service. So up top here, we're stepping into our bathroom area. There is a vent fan up there. Another vent above your shower area. You have an ABS tub surround, pull across curtain, step in shower here in the bathroom area. Another little yellow sticker on that electric outlet as well. A decent sized bathroom here for a travel trailer. Room on both sides of the bed as well to kind of maneuver around here. Let's step back out and just kind of look at the bathroom here through the actual outside area here. So there is a foot flush toilet there. You do have heat duct down below as well. Now just outside of your bedroom, it's kind of like a little pantry area here. So you have shelf space up here and also down below. Now on this big slide out here, you're gonna have your U-shaped dinette that will go down and make into a bed. And there's also a door on the front of each end there so that'll open up and give you some storage space under there as well big windows in this area as well the two really large windows there do open the one on the side of the slide over there does not you have a jackknife sofa here that will fold down and make into a bed as well and you have storage under that also now this portion right here will actually flip around 
and go in over here to make kind of an L-shaped chase lounge setup. So if you need a little extra seating space on a rainy night and you're in here watching a movie or something, you can do so. Over here is going to be your kitchen area and you have that 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator by Furion. You have the Furion oven with the glass front and the light built in there. Three burner gas cooktop, little light up knobs. You also have the high point microwave, the hood range light and fan. Below the oven is your electric box with your breakers and fuses and also the propane leak detector. Up top there is your main ducted Coleman AC right there. Again, TV hookups over here so you can put you a large TV there. That electric outlet is also inverter prepped. 30 inch electric fireplace by Furion. That is basically a fancy electric space heater. So it'll help knock the chill off in here. You got storage down below here. And you have full extending ball burn drawer guided drawers. You have an undermount stainless style sink. It's double bowl, high rise sprayer faucet here, and you have matching sink covers as well. And then this little Bluetooth portable speaker here. All vinyl floor on your main subfloor, and then you have that kind of woven material on the slide floor, uh, which basically kind of acts like, uh, or not acts like, it is what they use on like a lot of pontoon boats and stuff. It's a lot more rugged than carpet and less likely to rip up compared to having linoleum on the slide. Right here, you're going to have awning button, slide buttons, some light switches, water pump, and then you also have all your holding tank meters right here as well. Digital thermostat for your propane furnace and your main air conditioner. On-demand water heater controls right here. And behind this door here is going to be your kids' room. You have two oversized bunks in here. Now there are TV hookups up here, so if you wanted to mount a TV up here, you could. Uh, the bunk says here it's rated for 300 pound load capacity. Over there, you're gonna have USB charger ports and electric outlets. Kind of a different design there on that wall. And then here you're gonna have quite a bit of storage space. You got shelf space up top, hanging closet down below here. Now there is a window over here as well. This window does open. And then down below here, you got kind of a little step up area there. There's another window over there, electric outlet, USB charger ports also. And there is heat and AC ducts in that room as well. All right, I want to step outside here. I want to show you around the outside of this new zinger and then we'll come back in, close her up. We'll be right back on the outside. All righty, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2024 Zinger 320 FB travel trailer here. Let's get started on the door side here. We'll kind of work our way around. So first things up, you have an aluminum exterior, wood studded RV here. You have deep tent safety glass windows. You have a large power awning with the LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV and adjustable arms for tilting. There is a pretty large pass-through storage compartment area right here. There's a light in there as well. Speaking of lights, right here on this light, it is prepped for the Furion side cameras. So you are prepped on this RV for a side camera down each side and one on the back. That's a nice safety feature to consider adding to the RV. Talk with your salesperson about doing something like that. 
you have the heavy duty solid step by Lippert on your front main entry door here. This is rated for 400 pounds, comes down, touches the ground, has adjustable feet. You also have the large folding entry handle there to help you get in and out. Traditional RV entry door and screen door as well. Now down below here, you can see this unit has power stabilizer jacks and also enclosed underbelly as well. So you have power front jacks with the button right here for this one. And then you'll see on the back, when we get back there, a set for the rear, along with a power tongue jack as well. You'll see that when we get back to the front. You do have kind of a little outdoor kitchen area right here. So we have a two burner propane stove top with an outside mini fridge right here. Right down here's the gas line hookup for that propane stove. You have your furnace exhausting out right here. You're gonna also have your stove exhausting out up top there. You do have a cable outlet here, an electric outlet here as well. So if you wanted to set a TV out here, you could do so. There's the black tank flush to clean out the toilet system. You have dual axle unit here, steel wheels, drum brakes, easy loop hubs on the back door going in and out of your master bedroom area right there you have the traditional hover style steps those are rated for 300 pounds again rear power jacks right here with the button control moving on back to the rear side here we have a traditional flat back rear end four inch square tube bumper spare tire and mount on the back of the RV right here. In the lower left corner, you have your cable and satellite inlets, in case you go to a nice campground that does have that available for you. You have in the top center up there, prepping for the Furion rear observation camera. Again, you got side cameras and rear cameras that are available aftermarket if you want. A lot of people at least do the rear camera. Um, that definitely lets you see what's going on kind of behind you when you're backing into a campsite and traveling down the road. But also, again, consider that side camera as well. Up top there in the corner, you are prepped for the Lippert Portable Stow and Go Ladder. That is a nice telescoping ladder that you can hook on right there and get up and down on and off your roof to do your inspections on your seams and seals. Speaking of the roof, picture popping up here, just kind of showing you what that roof looks like. Again, this one was ordered with two AC systems you can see up here. You got some plumbing stack vents. You have uh, the vent roof vents and stuff up here as well. And then all the way up toward the front, there's a little black piece up there you can kind of see in the picture. That is prepping for the solar uh, roof package that you can do. So if you're interested in doing a solar panel, that's available. It's already prepped and wired for it. So you can talk with a salesperson about doing it aftermarket or doing it from the factory when you actually order the camper. Down here, you're gonna have storage underneath of your master bed. Step back here so you can kind of see down this whole side a little better. Nice look to it, it's kind of a teal looking color, I guess, blue, bluish teal kind of color on your main striping there. You do have your dump area right here. So you got your gray handle, black handle, all dumping out right here. Kind of see underneath the back bottom there. Detachable power cord. This one again was ordered with 50 amp service because it has two ACs on it. So you can see that cord's pretty long. That's probably about, a say, close to a 30-foot cord, roughly. Up here in the front area, we're going to have city water inlet right here. We also have our gravity fill fresh water tank. You have your hot and cold outside utility shower right here and your on-demand water heater right here as well. And just down below, you have the fresh water tank drain that's the roughly inch and a half gate valve drain. So it will dump out a lot faster than those little 3 8 tubes that a lot of them use. Other side of your storage area right here. Now it's inverter prepped up here. And then it is solar prepped over here. 
So if that's something that interests you, again, talk with your salesperson about ordering something like that up. Right here, we have an important informational sticker right here, our main data plate right here. So for example, this RV was built 328 of 24. It has an unloaded vehicle weight, it says of 7,900 pounds when it rolled off the assembly line, had a gross vehicle weight of 9,840 pounds. It's the most you can load the RV up to, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined, don't exceed that. Uh, you got your model number there, 320 FB, and some more specs from the manufacturer on some certain things there, water and stuff. You do have tire size ST225 75R15 D range tires with a 65 PSI cold. Very, very important to keep up with your tire pressure on any RV you're traveling with. You do see there the front of the RV is kind of sloped back a little bit. It's a little bit of a bubble out there. And you also have that lower diamond plate there. You have a nice little battery disconnect system down here. Right over here is also pre-prepping for a portable solar panel that you could also do if that interests you. And then over there you have a battery. Now, it doesn't come with any batteries. It does come with at least one battery when you're purchasing from Couches RV Nation. There's room for two batteries depending on the size of the battery that you decide to go with. You have two 20-pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator, the hard bottle cover there, power tongue jack with the built-in light, manual override, seven-way Bargman wiring plug. You have a two and five sixteenths hitch ball here. Now this is a pretty long travel trailer here. Uh, again, specs and stuff are all down in the description. But one thing you might consider doing if you're gonna travel with an RV this size is definitely consider doing a nice weight distribution system, sway control, to help you go down the road straight and not get as squirrely. All right, now we're gonna step back inside here. I wanna show you what this RV looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now back up inside the new 2024 Zinger 320 FB travel trailer here. And I just wanted to show you real quick what this thing looks like closed. So I went ahead and closed up the bedroom, master bedroom slide here. And you can see when this is closed, I'm not really able to get to the back of the RV through this doorway. When it's closed again, I could probably squeeze through there if I really needed to, but would be a little easier to just go through the outside door instead of through the bathroom area. But if you're trying to maybe stop at a rest area and sleep without opening up the RV, you could probably squeeze through the bedroom door there if you had to bedroom bathroom area now bringing in the slide out these are 12 volt slides and they are rack and pinion style slides so you push a button this comes in at a little bit of an upward angle to kind of clear the main floor so it doesn't damage your linoleum and stuff and then it'll kind of settle back down a hair when it gets all the way in but pretty quick and easy to do, as you can see here. It doesn't take real long. Now with this slide closed, not really getting very far back through there. They don't really want you kind of running around on these slides when this slide is closed. If you were to really kind of step across a lighter person, you might be okay. Um, but best just to push the button, run it in and out. I have uninterrupted access to the bunk room here. No problem getting in and out of that area. Just takes a few seconds here to hit the button and run the slide out. Now, if I'm just wanting to run back here and, you know, throw some groceries in or maybe use the bathroom or something, I can come back here and do so without having to open up the RV completely. Just let off the button. and then bring it back in or take it all the way out. Now it is very, very important when opening and closing these slides to make sure nothing is in the way. You don't wanna accidentally run into a light pole or electric pole or water pole or something at the campground. 
Also, when you're bringing the thing in, very important to make sure that the floor is clean. You don't want some sort of rock or something that might have come off your shoe to get trapped in between the slide floor and your linoleum and rip and damage it. That would be very bad. All right, folks, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch my RV video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you don't mind helping out my channel. And as always, please remember to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. They were actually the number one selling RV dealer for 2023 as well. All right, thanks again for watching my videos.